you have to have a dream that is so big that it scares you. I'm sure you've heard that quote. It's by Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. She was the president of Liberia. And she said this, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. She's right. It has to be something that becomes so strong inside of you that you can't not do it. It's not a should, because if it's a should, then when you feel lazy or you're not in the mood, you won't do it. But when it becomes a part of your core, who you really are and what you need to do, it becomes a must. And now it doesn't matter what happens, you are going to do it. I'm Teresa Harding and I help people learn how to change their state so that they can immediately get into the state they need to be in to create the success that they have been looking for. I help them create the strategies and the frameworks that help them have that success. And the biggest mistake that people make when they are trying to follow their dream, they're trying to create that result, is they try to start with how. If you start with how, all of a sudden you get stuck in what needs to be done, or you're not sure the skills, or you don't have what it takes yet. Never, ever start with how. Start with what and why. Because when you figure out the what and the why, all of a sudden that becomes so strong, it creates a certainty that allows you to keep moving forward and create and become the person who can do the how. I want you to go to the comments and I don't want to hear about your how. I want to hear about your what and your why. Tell me what those are.